Well, there it is. Hi guys, welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Shadow of Death, Birth of a Barbarian. Yog has been at Bracada Magic Academy learning to be a wizard. But his barbarian heritage beckons him to follow the path of a warrior. So it is Yog. Yog, the Yog from Warcraft, uh, not Warcraft 2, Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Uh, Yogg accepts Duke Winston's Bragas' offer to join him in Krulod. Unfortunately, the Wizards of Bracada will use all of their powers to prevent him from leaving. Escape from Bracada and capture the Krulodian town in the scenario on the run of Groa to win the scenario. However, if Yogg is defeated in combat or fails to capture Groa in five months, Wow, five months. The scenario is lost. Yogg is limited to level 9, but will carry his experience and skills on to the next scenario. Okay, level 9 is kind of specific. I think we go with the Nagas, and it's on normal difficulty. All my life I have been studying magic under the wizards of Lakata to please my mother, a genie. But it is the blood of my barbarian father that runs through my veins. And I feel that my hands were meant to carry a sword rather than a staff. Fate seems to agree, for I have received an invitation from Duke Winston Baragas of Krulot to join his army. The time has come for me to leave this place. But I know that my teachers oh. that fight. Thank you, Matt Blue, for the resub. Nine months. Thank you, man. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing all right. Born the son of a barbarian chieftain and a genie enchantress, you have always found your mind to be at odds with your heart. Your mother enrolled you in the Magic Academy at a young age, but as much as you tried to fulfill her wish for you to grow up to become a wizard, you found your academy life to be excruciatingly boring. In many ways, you are more like your father, spending your time engaged in swordplay rather than studying your magic textbooks. To your teacher's dismay, your studies suffered as your fighting skills grew. However, the more the academy attempted to discipline you, the more you came to hate magic and yearn for a more adventurous life. Such a life always seemed out of your grasp until last week, when you received an invitation from Winston Baragas, the Duke of Krulod, to join his armed forces. Your reputation as a swordsman had reached the neighbouring country of Krulod, and the Duke, who desperately needed to supplement his armed forces, was aggressively seeking foreign recruits. He saw this opportunity as a sign that now was the time for you to give up your life of magic. Knowing how zealously the Academy guards its secrets, you are certain they will close the borders and give you choice. Undaunted, you spend one of your sparring partners... Ah. You send one of your sparring partners out. Find a town where you could build up troops to help you fight your way to Krulod. Last night, your friends sent word of a town not far from Kalanen. All you have to do is follow the road south, and you would get to it safely in a few days. Okay, well that's fair enough. You're telling me south. I can do south. That's strange. Is this my friend? They got titans? I can't go in there. Are they my enemy? They are. They spawns me right next to my enemy. So this is what the cover of darkness is for. So you can sort of, like, sneak out. May as well purchase... I don't think... Sure, why not? Probably get him experience of anything. So he actually stands a chance. Because he's got to fight into these. Surely they join him. Otherwise, that's a bit of a one way trip, isn't it? Hello! Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, video. Don't have the sound on right now. Oh, that Prid guy. Watching without sound. Unbelievable. Thank you, Prid. Yes, I did have a good Christmas and New Year's. Although you can't hear me say that, can you? Hi, Rise. Don't mention the notifications. I'm surprised you haven't done it yet. It's, uh, I haven't sorted that out yet. And yes, I did do the Craig Hack campaign. That was just before this one. This is a new era. Right. May as well buy what I can. Let's try... Wow. So even with my stuff... 
paste. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Not sure what's going on there, then. I wonder if um, a different unit spawns at the bottom left, then. If you restart the scenario. Nah, it's Magi. Well, he's not going to do much, is he? My hands are shaky. Yeah, my left hand's quite shaky, unfortunately. I get the shakes. Oh, nice. Air magic. Although I thought this guy is not really much about casting spells. But I suppose you can still get access to him. It depends how harsh the level's going to be when it comes to let me remember spells. Carry his experience and skills onto the next scenario, but not spells. So, interesting. Watch the Naga go. That was before I drank wine. Oh. oh I can't cast that, so ang. Dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Nah, you have to stay put. Tempting to move in, but I've got to protect those gremlins. <laughs> Buying those gargoyles didn't do much for me, then, did it? Oh man, I thought I was gonna kill him because every time she fought them, she was gonna she killed everyone. Oh well, I think I can live. It did say head south, didn't it? Why is it giving me spells? Is this like a debate? Yogg studied many years with the Wizards of Brocada, and he would rather spend his time engaging in swordplay rather than studying magic. So why is it giving me so many spells to play with? That's what's confusing me. I'll take the air magic, because I can get use out of that. Like, I'll still probably go air magic, earth magic, and stuff like that, but... A little confusing. I wonder if they still go for those gargoyles. Or whether they come over here. Damn, they do still, still go for those gargoyles. I'm going to move him forward, then. I'm going to move them over there. It's like those gargoyles have debated me into doing this really badly. Yeah, you don't see the restaurant name, High Rise. It's like I can't win. This would work, because then she can hit, if they go for the golems or the gargoyles. 200 IQ, I finally worked it out.
Yeah, I try to save their lives. And that's it. I think I can attack now. Wow, that was much better. It's a little bit of positioning and, uh, hey presto. Yeah, I'm not taking the fire magic. I'm worried about even taking the air magic, because people said that he doesn't really cast spells in this. So what's the point of having, like, air and earth magic and stuff like that, and wisdom? If he's not even going to be using it. I'd like for these guys to join. But I don't want to really fight them. If they're not going to join me. And yeah they're not going to join. I didn't lose much actually. So I might just accept that fate. That's okay. I can live with that. Journal entry one. I've been on the run for four days now. And there's still no sign of the town my friend spoke of. Still I must press on. For I have learned that the Academy has sent an army commanded by one of their most adept mages. A wizard named Aim. Ang. To hunt me down. My only hope is to find the elusive town so that I can lose Ang. And raise my own army to get through the border. I get the feeling that typically when you want to find a town you go down the road. So I wonder if it meant south following the road. And I've made a mistake by going this way, but we'll find out whether I can rectify that mistake or not. I don't think we need to... I mean, it, it's a bit of wasted movement. This is like a junction where you need to save it so I can fall back if I need every single movement point. In order to travel through these dangerous lands, my envoy needs more backup. I hear three titans are excellent guards. If you, are, <laughs> you want me to bring you three titans? Bloody hell, it's a bit early for that. They're going to fight me. Everything else has fought me so far. So I don't see why they wouldn't. Ah! I don't often get diplomacy on one of my main characters in these campaigns. So... That's interesting. That could really make this campaign a lot easier with diplomacy. If I can get good diplomacy and get strong. And bully the characters. Uh... Uh... Dun 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 I thought you would go for these little ones. They do like going for the little ones. I'll move my Nagas in because they can definitely take a hit or two. I mean, it's understandable. It happens. When you get hosted like that and you're not used to it, particularly if it's like outside your comfort zone. Say, for example, someone hosted me for 10,000 viewers right now. I'll be able to respond to it because I've been streaming well enough for a long time. And I've learned sort of like more or less how to behave and you know you kind of get used to stuff so you know how to sort of present yourself but it would still really throw me off completely because it's just too much I've never been in a situation where I've had 10,000 viewers or anything like that so it would just be weird and that's what it was really for Ember yesterday not that I gave him 10,000 but you know he's probably used to like two two or three viewers at most Lobster juice. That's right, Ali Baddy Cutie Butt. You're absolutely right. This music's like pumping you up. Look at the hill! Nag is just gonna nag. I'm not sure if that's offensive, but. Alright, oh, he's going for the healing tent. He's actually gonna kill it! I'm not happy about that. I don't want him killing it. I might actually throw even these down so you can go for them. Instead of the tent. I thought you would. Yeah, they're kind of pointless. Who cares about them anyway? 
I don't want to lose units, but I don't want to lose the tent. The tent's kind of cool, actually, for my Nagas. Why is everyone calling me a mad lad? What does that even mean? Phone's going. One second. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of lobster. It is a bit hard to take. Oh, you prick! I, I sort of lost my concentration because I came back and just answered the chat. And now I lost that. I'm going to redo that fight. I just don't want to lose my tent. That's so not cool, bro. Lobster was okay. But I personally didn't enjoy it that much. I don't think it's to my taste. Although I think I know what shrimp tastes like now without ever tasting shrimp. Because they look kind of similar. When you take like bits out of the lobster, that kind of flesh, it's got a very similar look. But I'm not really a seafood person. But I tried it at least. Too much lobster hype. Forty two damage, twenty four damage. I think she can start to sort of mitigate the damage done soon. There we go. See, so she can just sort of out heal it. That's better. That's how we do. All of this is going to mean nothing, though, if I can't find a base, because I'll just be dead. This is my last day, lol. So all this hard work means nothing. Because I won't find a base. You are supposed to go down the road. God damn it. That's cruel. It says go south. Technically, I did go exactly south. And I got nothing. So yeah, I think I have to restart the whole freaking thing, to be quite frank with you. <sighs> That's rough. That's not a good start, is it? Maybe I go up from here. Although, yeah, he's going to chase after me. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. Lol, 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 lol. He'll just come straight out after me, but what can you do? Yep. Time to restart the level. Feels bad, man. I hope I get diplomacy again. Alright, always stick to the roads. Always stick to the roads. Never not stick to the roads. Always stick to the roads. Just go down. Just... Hey! A little bit of the old pathy finding. I'm not going to buy anything for this guy because I can't do anything with him. So we can save money on that. What's this going to be? Oh, okay. Could have done with that earlier. Oh, 
That'll be handy where when I come across some water. Is there water? Naga, please. Haha! -ha. I just realized that I missed the air magic. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we make this a strictly non spell casting character who is able to cast Chain Lightning. That'd be like the only spell he can cast. I don't think I'm going to like this campaign. <laughs> It's. I mean, I, I mean, I like that you're giving me this, but I want that diplomacy, and then I can just win the levels with that. You liked the lobster video, did you, Milza? Ah, I'm glad, man. I thought some people might like that. People like being nosy. Where is base, though? The hut of the Magi will show us. Oh, there it is. This is my last day. I can't even stop to... What the fuck is this level? Look, look at that bullshit! What the fuck? That's a little bit much, though, isn't it? I, I When it said to the south, what I thought was, after it not being directly south, it'll be somewhere like here. You know, close-ish. It actually wants you to go, like, pretty much all the other side of the map. It's a little bit ridiculous. Right. Getting a spell book. See? Yogg has given up magic in all of its forms. His knowledge of battle and tactics will have to be enough for... This is where they try to go down the lore road. It's like... This is the level where we are being very story-driven and... He doesn't... He's a spell cast, but he doesn't cast spells. That's his thing. But gameplay-wise, that's... Shit! Right, well, I prefer this version in where I don't have any sort of spell casting. Like, he can't even get a spell book. So, thank God. What? Why would it. Why would they even have put the scholars there then that can give you air magic and all of this? Like, what if there's players that don't quite understand how the thinking of these developers work sometimes? They would go and get that earth magic. They would get that. They'd get that air magic. They'd get that fire magic. And then they'd be like, oh. I've got these dead things now. My character is so much fun to play. Thanks, developers. Blizzard! Oh, I'm only joking, it's not Blizzard, of course. <laughs> 3DO! Depends how well I do first, is the guards. They don't want to go. What's wrong with these? Oh, there's no enemy retaliation. 
Looks like the Nagas can have some fun then. He will never be able to learn magic. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sussing that out. I want diplomacy though, because I really liked when I got diplomacy. Uh, my eyes lit up. I was like, oh, this is so cool. I love having like... Because it doesn't always work in campaigns, but it has worked in like the last one or two. And these have been Shadow of Death ones, so there's... It should theoretically work. Journal to Entry 2. We arrived at Pardon. Not too long ago, so far everything is going well. Although the army is taking longer to build than I would like. However, I don't think the Border Gate will hold off Aang's forces much longer. No doubt she will devise a way to get through it. This morning I sent a scout across the border into Krulod to find an isolated city, a place where I can get hold at until Aang tires of searching for me. The sooner I get out of Bricardia, the better. The sooner I get out of this campaign, the better. Alright, let's go free this guy then. I didn't actually even buy any units, did I? Huh. I'm triggered. Whatever. I'll accept it. I don't think I'm going to get diplomacy now. Robbed. Robbed of diplomacy. Oh, you've got boost of speed. I didn't know he had that. Look how fast this guy is now. That's what I'm talking about. I could have made him faster if I took off the slow units, but I wasn't thinking that far ahead. I've just got to believe that he can learn magic. How do you know that, Milza? You're not spying on me, are you? Learn weakness. He won't, though. Because he can't cast spells. I can't go through that, can I? Let's just... I don't want to waste movement speed points, just to confirm, basically. But, yeah, you can't. That's what saving is for. That's what save scumming is for. Saves you those precious movement point speeds for something that you pretty much suspect to be true, but you have to check because you're OCD. Hmm. I can afford to lose those units. Those don't bother me too much. I was going to buy these, but I'm not even sure if I do want to. Maybe I just save up my cash. Well, what is the inevitable, incredible, expensive stuff? We've got to get the capital going. I mean, I don't think I should bother with these unless I could upgrade them. The gargoyles could be useful, though. I'll take the gargoyles. I might be able to utilize those. There's the blue border gate. Now we've got some nasty master genies. Who actually weren't that much... No, I, I mean, if they don't do too much damage, I'll just accept it. Because that's pretty good. Right. Don't want to trade any resources at the moment. Because I don't think I need to. Let's go get that blue border gate. It's not that you're spying, I was just looking at the background building, it said Ermin, and then did some checking online, it took five minutes to find the location. You're a terrible person, Milza. It's not that I'm spying, but I did research to find out where you are. But it's not that I'm spying. Okay, let's go kill these. My Nagas could deal with that, no problem. Right, well, we're very fortunate in getting the expert logistics and that. But now, this is where I'm scared that it's going to give me bad stuff. That I don't want to have to choose. Fortunately, the game always gives you an option to up one of your other abilities. But once they're maxed, you're forced to take those other abilities that you might not necessarily want.
These will join. No, they won't. I knew it. I think we can save the wizards. I was offered leadership and archery and didn't take them. Damn straight. Why would I want those? Hey? Leadership, maybe. Archery. Nah. I mean, you can sort of go along the mindset of just going titans like I do with other races. Just get the last unit and then archery is kind of good for that. But that's speculative. And that's if you're in a situation where you can get titans. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. In this level, you must be able to, because you have to give them, but it's no guarantee. Huh. What was the freelancer's skill? That was given for resources, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I'd even take basic artillery, maybe, if I had absolutely no other choice. Interesting. A few titans. Those might join me then, because that's specific to that quest, isn't it? it? Does say a few titans. I don't think he said kill a few times. I think he said bring me a few times, but I can't remember now. Also, this fight doesn't go well for me. Ah. Come to your doom. You just realized I don't have the same HD mod you have, which lets you turn animations even faster and tell your ranged units to melee attack someone if they are not restricted with a new gun. Uh, you can try linking it, Smurf. I've been using this since the dawn of time, though. Aren't you just... Isn't that HD mod the one that's for Hota? You're basically talking about Hota, aren't you? Like if you load up Hota, then you can get the access to that. I can't play the Shadow of Death campaign on Hota. That's what I think you're looking at. Yeah, it's Hota. So yeah, it, it, I can't play Shadow of Death on Hota. So it's relevant. Nasty genies. Get back in your bottle. Look at them. They're all mean. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, no. I thought he was going to get to kill the blister as well. Well, that went well. Now for the Titans to join me. Oh. Where's that diplomacy? Cool. I'll tell you, these... It's because I'm a barbarian, isn't it? They're not very hospitable, these people. So to get to this, you have to do go through there, I think, to get all the way around, which is where I was last time, unless he opens up the way. There is a file that you can add to the game so you can have faster animation. It's not that bad, though. Like, yeah, the animations aren't the fastest of the fastest, but they're not exactly super slow, either. Late last night, my scout returned with the good news that a city named Groa lies east of Krulod's border. He also warned me that the border is indeed heavily guarded. Although the scout couldn't identify every troop in the garrison, he did see signs of Titans, Naga Queens, and Arc Magi. I must be well prepared before I can assault the garrison. 
No. I want this. Ooh, diplomacy. Pigeon. Trapping myself. I was going to try to do it so I can sort of run around the log, but it doesn't look like it works. Yeah, I did worse than the auto combat. <gasps> but advanced. Sold. Yo, 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 yo. I'm buying these because they're the here and the now. Suddenly my hero is strunk. Well, stronger. Might be able to take some dwarfs for some gold. Wow. What's going on? Yog. Yogi. Yogo. Diamonds are forever. No, not you. Get back. Those two are just basically backups. I'm not really intending to use those, though. Oh, you swine. I think I can do it without losing a unit. I don't think they got what it takes to kill the Naga. At least like, she can take a couple of hits and then run away. Yeah, she's too tanky. Just let her do the work if need be. That's how we do. I buy all those golems and then I don't use them. They're just bodyguards. They're just there to look threatening. Don't really want to fight those, but it's kind of my my way through. I could take that base if he stays away from it for long enough. 
Let's just accept it. I can't... I cannot be bothered to keep protecting... The little stone golems. Ooh, he's put some defenses. But with my magnificent movement speed. Yay! Yay! Take that, Mr. Titan. Well, I'm not going to be here for long, that's for sure. <laughs> Just being a nuisance, really, by taking it. I think that probably isn't even worth it. Because it just hampers me now. Kill some of my units. He doesn't even care. Oh. Now he's a bit more interested. Go, boys. I don't think this is worth it. Because that helmet gives knowledge, I'm pretty sure. This is an all-out brawl now, isn't it? I look different when I'm out in public. What, do you expect me to go, Gigi? Lobster was okay, Tyrol. Not a huge fan of lobster, though. You will see more um, skeletal annihilation today. This is a big level, though. I actually suspected this would be a small level, because the first level isn't always the longest, but... This is like a five month level, although most of the map is explored. I think this fight's actually going quite well considering. Although it's probably going to turn round soon. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Let's come out of this. We're spending way too much time. Did I drink tea with milk in it? Do I drink tea with milk in it? No, I have green tea. Which has no milk. I don't think it's even worth going up there, taking that base, to be quite frank with you. I can't think of a reason why it's beneficial to me. Because he doesn't take, like, the spells or anything. I didn't buy anything from it. You get, like, maybe a day or two with the income that it provides, but... I don't think it's worth the sacrifice. Hmm, they are really interested in going for the top load. Not even showing a sign of interest of coming down here, so I'm going to run away now. Like a bitch. I've heard British guys even shower with tea bags. Can't say I do that. Could be some sort of new beauty thing though. Have I played Knights of Honor? Sounds familiar. I don't think I have. I might move him away so I don't lose him. 
Nagas, can you take it? Not for much longer. I'm going to move them out. We'd like rotating here between the health pools. I think I lost one, but that's okay. Yeah. True. <gasps> expert diplomacy. Expert diplomacy. Now they're going to join me because they've got expert diplomacy. Yeah. Guess not then. Alright. Well, I think my work here is done. There's not much for me to do now on this level. Got AFK maybe. Maybe check out the uh, refugee camp. See if that's sporting anything interesting. Why don't I wear glasses on stream? I look very handsome with them. I don't like wearing glasses. I think if I, I'm going to commit to wearing glasses properly, I would get have to have glasses that are so big that I can't actually see the outer rim. Those glasses are quite small, so I can constantly see what is outside of the glasses' vision. If you see what I mean. And it always puts me off. I never learnt to wear glasses as a, at a young age, so... I paid the price. I'll just sacrifice those, that's fine. Hello there, shield door for dwarf. What's going on? How's life treating the big lad? Don't know why I'm buying these units. I don't want them. I would wear contacts, but they're a real pain in the ass to put in your eyes. And I couldn't be bothered doing that every day. Maybe if I go out every once in a while. But I buy contacts. But because I don't go out, the contacts go out of date. So it's kind of a waste. <laughs> I'd have to be able to sort of like order them for when I know I'm going out or something like that. Oh my... God! I can win the game now with this. What was in here? Was that ballistics? Uh, the ballista thingy. Not ballista. Oh, that wasn't what I thought it was. Lol. Scholar. And he's not even, like, learning spells properly or anything. Are contacts comfortable? They're not really comfortable, but they're fine considering they give you really crystal clear vision. But you do feel them a little bit. A little bit scratchy. And having them a lot of the time, on all the time. Dragons are a girl's best friend. So, what are we doing? I don't actually know what I'm even doing anymore. Because I'm at a bit of a crossroads here. It wants me to progress, but there's not much more I can do. And my base is going to take like an eternity to build up. I've got a lot of resources though, so I went. It's just gold, so I'm getting the capital. There's no water. There's two blue gates. I can't go any more that way. You can pick up genies if you want. Like. got that to do. My best hope is if I could beat her. But I thought I'm supposed to be running away from her, anyway. Why is Aang so angry at me, anyway? 
What did I do to her? The good news is I've got so much movement speed that I can probably outrun her. Everything is going all right, says Schildorfer. Still going to college, doing well. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. What's taking precedence, then? Because you're a smart boy, Schildorfer. Are you like Yogg, where he's been this character here, where he's been born into magic and into might? So whilst he's got the strength to do, like, rugby and all of that, he's also quite intelligent and can go down that road. You have no idea what's going on. It's turn-based strategy. Think of it like an RTS, but you take turns. And these are all characters on the battlefield that you move, and they all have different sort of abilities and health pools and damage and attack. Ow! Ow! I don't think this is worth attacking. I think we'll just come out of this. We'll cut this early. Even if I can do it, it's not worth it. I go into a lot of these fights, and it's just not worth it. It's not worth what happens to the character. The sacrifices that are made. Just get the luck. And then maybe get another awesome unit from the refugee camp. Save up for the capital. That kind of good thing. Have I played any Civ games? No. And that's basically why I haven't played any Civ games. If I got into Civ games as a kid, I'd be more inclined to play them. Do you see what I mean? But I have no interest in trying to learn the complexities and how to play the Civ games right now. The amount of time it would take. Oh, bugger off. The worst unit in the game. Do I come down there and fight them? Do I try to take the base and be annoying? Maybe get resources. I've got five months on this level, so you can kind of mess around for a long time. You discover an ancient magical text on the black art of necromancy. This is not the first time you've seen such a book. When you were at the Whip Magic Academy, you fell in love with another student named Fidomenia. It must be true that opposites attract because unlike you, she was quite scholarly and bookish. And how she loved studying magic. It was her life, or would have been, had it not corrupted her. But for demonia, sounds like a disease, spent her spare time scouring libraries for arcane magical times. And she eventually came across a manuscript such as the one now in your possession. Against the advice of her teachers, she studied the book, but its evil glyphs transformed her into a necromancer. She now resides in Deja, where she will live out the rest of her days. You waste no time in selling the cursed book for gold and resources. Aha. So that brought back good feelings. You're pretty sure you are stupid, but your grades disagree with me. <laughs> I do have the strength, maybe. That's one way of saying it. Man, I'm so dumb, but my grades are so good. I don't get it. What about Total War games? I think that fantasy one was kind of interesting. Like, I might have tried that out if I was, like, more hype and hip. And, like, if I streamed that when it came out, it'd be more relevant. Oh. I should go for the double whammy. Oh, he gets luck as well. Very nice. Ow. If you want to try out Total War Free Kingdoms, it comes out this March. Eh, maybe I'll look into it. 
March is like far away enough that I can plan for that at least. Started Civ 5, but I see what you mean. The game takes so long to learn. Oh, that's it, isn't it? It's like, I think I played a demo of the Civ 5, or no, High Rise got me like Civ 6 or something, I can't remember, but I tried it, I was just like, hell no. There we go. Plus three knowledge. I can cast Chain Lightning now. Success. I don't know if it's worth trying to take the base. Yeah, I could afford to lose those units. The Nargids are nice, but... Let's see what happens if we do this. If we throw the dragons in a bit more. <laughs> oh. If we throw the dragons in, morale. GG. Good game, well played. Oh, I lost a lot in the auto combat fight, didn't I? But I can't imagine losing much now. Just throw the dragons in. Feels good. Blimey, they're still going. There we go. Could go Artifact Merchants and try to buy some, but I've already got movement speed and stuff, so I don't need that. So the computer's still quite far away, so he's let me have his stuff, which is nice. Those resources, though. I mean, theoretically, I'm t half tempted to maybe build this up. What if I did? And then defended it was able to stop because she has one time she has a few times but she doesn't have that much I don't think so I just took the bloody base from you and because it's such a sort of like slug down here and if she hasn't got like advanced movement She's kind of screwed. Yeah. This base is mine now. I don't know where she is. I'm trying to keep my distance no a little bit. Hey, Mr. Caviar. Yeah, this appears to be some sort of Heroes of Might and Magic oh, yeah. game. Three. Some sort of game revolving around Heroes of Might and Magic? Where is she? Where is Aang? Ah. No, wait, that's not her. Ah, oh, she's blocked in by the lesser character. What if they're stuck and they don't have a base? They'll just die, won't they? If Red's got no other base. <laughs> Not sure about that night AM, but it was interesting to try. Which base is going to get the upgraded Cloud Temple? This one up here, or this one? 
Maybe this one. Oh, he's trying to come back. I think he's gonna die. Red's player has no base. They have been destroyed. Damn, that is expensive. 25k to upgrade that bad boy. Still tempted though, because I hate sort of like traveling between bases to then upgrade units. When you got like um, town portal, that's not so bad. But when you got to travel the long way, and plus we all know that all, all you want to do is get the last unit. So screw it. Let's do it. Even if it's only one. You're going to be dead. You have to have another base somewhere. You should be dead by now, really. If we buy this and leave this stuff behind and then go on our journey, like, you should be dead, really. And I'm going to try to travel to the other base where I've got Titans coming for me. If not, I'll travel back. They would be dead by now. I'll hang back for a bit longer then. Until I can properly afford all the Titans. Pretty much just what I'm going for. I don't think you can take me. I have to just go and fight her because she would be dead by now. She has a hundred percent another base. So let's just pick her off now. And then I can get on with my life. Yeah, there's only one computer, isn't there? So if there's any activity whatsoever going on on the map, then that's it. You want three Titans, you got it. I don't really want to give three Titans for this, but I don't mind doing quests because maybe that works. Like, there might be a bit in the map where it says you need to have done this quest in order to get through. So I'll take it somewhat reluctantly. Nagas and Titans. He just needs to camp, I think, to protect. So, protect home and family.
Wait, what happened there? I just kind of relentlessly accepted everything. chain light in my own unit. Recites the incantations, but they seem to have no effect. So, I really don't get Yogg. The one thing he's supposed to be able to do, he still can't even do. Because it's this whole... He's a mage, so he's not supposed to cast spells. Lol. People seem to love flogs, gotta do more. Ah, oh, yeah, but it's hard work doing flogs. Because it means I have to do something. Those Nagas are amazing, though. If you get them in good numbers, the damage they do. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't really check what his health was. That's a lot of resources, so I'll just accept it. Screw it. I'll just accept my fate. I might get genies as well, because they're fast. Because I think I can afford, like, titans, nagas, and genies. This character be making bank. Doing something equals hard work. Exactly. I'm not a fan of hard work. Oh, I, I thought that no that was the girl that I just fought. Ang. Best for watching the vlog now. Been waiting for this moment for over two years now. Oh, really? What for me to eat I lobster? Have no time for <laughs> I don't think that's true, Baron. Nice, right? Jason White says, as a Patreon, I don't support you playing this game. <laughs> oh, Jason. But Patreon doesn't have anything to do with the Twitch. It's to do with the YouTube. If I do it outside. I recognize that as the Minecraft character that blows up on you, isn't it? I thought that might be a one-off, that he couldn't cast spells in that area. Thank you. You gave me an answer there. Because if I attack that, I'm opening myself up a bit too much on that side. Cool, bloody hell. These Nagas are just tearing everything to pieces, isn't they? Ah, they, they can reach me. There's no, there's no happy answer here. If I kill them, they come in from that side. They come in and she hits me anyway. I still have to keep away from those ones. Keep away. Oh. Don't you morale. I think I'll win because my hero's got, like, attack and defense as well. So, he should be good. Pretty close, though. Pretty annoyingly close. Come on, where's my attack and defense? That should be kicking in, really. Don't make me do this again. You're going to make me do this again, aren't you? <sighs> Fuck me. That's cruel. I can't be bothered. I 
Let's go visit that, buy some mercs, and then come back again. Awesome to see you try around with the lobster. Always followed the fear by to do something wrong. Yeah, witty wrong. Eat lobster. Neutral boys, I should ban you for a comment like that in the first place. I always find comments like that are so stupid. Like, you shouldn't even joke about stuff like that. Oh, artifacts. That could save me. They're terrible, though. They're all about spells. Jeez, I don't even want any of those. Come on, then. Let's do this. I've got much better um, morale spells and all that this time. I've always got to try the chain lightning. Don't expect it to work, but I've got to try it. Oh, God. What? I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was attacking with the Nagas first, because they got more movement speed. Never mind. Well. Oh. Yeah, that kind of works anyway. Have I ever considered Divinity 2 Original Sin? I feel like I've played that, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, I don't, I'm not sure. I can't remember all these games i played. I wouldn't look that different if I didn't shave for six months. I'd just have a moustache and a bit of a goatee. I don't really grow that much facial hair. Well, looks like we win now, at least, and that's the main thing. So I can get that damn border gate and crack on with this level. Boom. My work here is done. So when day seven comes along, this guy's gonna walk up. Yeah. Doesn't need like a thing. Ah, there's a red base right there. Sneaky. I mean, I could maybe take that with this guy. Let's see what you can afford. Man. Not sure why there's two of these right next to each other. That's it. This guy can learn spells. Okay. Hell screen. 
I get to buy all this stuff again. I got trashed by the Nagas in the last fight. Hey, good timing. Pick up some Titans. I'm not even going to bother with the Nagas and that now. Because the Titans are going to take up all my cost. And the Nagas are a bit too slow. Let's put that red guy out of his misery. I took my lucky charms. So I've collected everything. Oh, I haven't collected this, actually. Got to catch them all. Right, with my diplomacy, I wouldn't be surprised if they all tried to join me, but... Apparently not. It's a rocky map, this one, isn't it? Ah! A serpent fly <laughs> to join me. They're a bit faster, though. Oh! <laughs> they join and defend me. First is the other Titan. Hey. Right. Let's crack onto this base then. This guy is still doing his thing over here. Ah. Maybe not then. No, maybe not, because I've gathered everything apart from these two bits. So if I come up and get this now, come through. Secret agent, coming through. Boots let me walk over water, that's right. I'm just collecting the bits for now. And then there'll be another week of, like, titans and stuff. To grab. So I'll do that. I mean, he's... Yeah, there's no way that's... I'm going to need any more. I think he's unlikely. Whilst I can carry more units, I like to just have, like, the, the ultimate units, because they're faster as well. And hope that that's enough. Oh. I was going to say worth a shot, but I wasn't expecting it to change. It is worth a shot, then. I mean, kind of. These don't even stack, so you can hold on to that. I've got to come over there. Shop changes every month. Yep. That it does. That it does. Make an army of dragons. It's a bit hard to do that, unless I just camp the refugee camp, Miss Sh uh, Schildorf, Dorf, Dorf, Dorf. I wonder if I can even get over there. I need fission. So I'll have to get in the boat anyway. I can't get over there because I can't walk. Unless I can click there. Nah. No. I think he's blocked. Oh. <laughs> right, that was good. 
That's one way to get in a boat. Oh my god, I'm screwed. Oh no, I'm not screwed, thank god. I was going to say, otherwise the computer could just TK you. Like, well, I say TK, but they could wreck you. I can't summon boats, so I couldn't get rid of these boats. If the computer landed enough of them, I wouldn't even be able to get over. Ah, that's not too bad, actually. Especially since we're not going for spells. So I think I'm going to keep that one. I mean, it's one of the better ones anyway, but... Mm. Ah, trust the Nagas to, to trash that. Whatever. Bloody Nagas. Right, all I need to do is just gather whatever gives me stats. That looks hard to beat, though. Journal Entry 4. I am resting my army before we begin the battle to cross the border. So this is the last part. Might want to leave this area then to last. Just as my scout reported, the border garrison is heavily guarded, although my troops look apprehensive. They think they'll hold together. If, when we get across the border, their morale will hopefully improve. I might do that last. Like, I'll come back to that, I think. Because it suggests that that's, like, the last area you go. So we'll just gather what we can, get the base, etc. Yeah, at least this character's got good abilities, you know? So it's going to be a bit painful not using spells, but it'll be interesting. And I've got no good abilities to go with it. And that diplomacy makes me feel much much more confident going into future fights. Hey, Clep, how's it going? Thank you. I'm not really seeing my diplomacy pay off much, though. So it might be turned off. It could be a dead spell, but it still makes me feel better having it. General Entry 4 continued. The battle was indeed fierce. I did not expect to lose as many troops as I did. I must be careful next time. But for now it is done. I have made it across the border. I just hope the Academy doesn't attempt to cross the border too, if they haven't already. The area isn't that well travelled and it would probably take a while before the Duke of Krillod realises that Aang has invaded his territory. They already took it. This looks good to me. Ah, you're coming for me, are you? She just attacked into me and lost everything. Clever girl. Ah, oh, there's Aang. One more try. No. No, nope, nope. You didn't know I'm a soccer player. What made you think that? Am I near and finishing Heroes 3? Kind of. I'm getting closer. Shadow of Death is much further through. I might have done better in the auto combat. I only lose 3. Pretty sure I just lost more than 3 now. Because she's using her spells, I don't think she would be using spells if you do the auto combat. That's why you don't. Some, that's why in auto combat you sometimes um, lose less units because the computer's not using their spells. Gems. Mm. 
There we go. That takes care of red. I will buy those. Because I'll take what I can get. I don't think there's any buffs down there, so it's not worth coming back. Cool, you get quite a lot of stats on this. My scout has advised me to head south because of an army of this size cannot pass through the mountains. A two to four day march south will take me to the entrance of the valley leading to the city of Groa. Of Groa. So I'm going to go north instead. Because there's still stuff to do up here. Well, this is all pointless, isn't it? Unless I can get like a town portal scroll, then knowledge is going to be the best. Kaka. See, diplomacy is working. It's working, baby. They're not joining for free, but I get them to buy them. It's almost over. The scout's map indicates this is the entrance to Grower's Valley. I will gather my generals and enter the gates of my new home. You already have 92 comments to read on Lobster. Really? Oh my god. I haven't read anything in regards to the video. <laughs> the guards here say they have orders to let Yogg pass. Well, that's handy, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get any further. We have lived peacefully and undisturbed in this valley for many years. Now you come with an army seeking to defeat us. We will not tolerate such aggression. Before you are able to convince the ancient behemoths of your peaceful intentions towards them, they attack. Yeah, I don't think they're very, um, civil. Journal Entry 7. This battle could have been avoided. All I wanted was to hold out here until the search for my for me relented a little bit. There was no need for bloodshed. The townspeople must have been truly frightened to send out so many ancient behemoths. Well, if an army matched up to my own home, I suppose I too would be alarmed. But the town's defences are now crippled with most of their ancient behemoths gone. When my troops are rested, I will plan an attack upon the city of Groa, because who knows what else they may unleash upon me if I allow them to take another opportunity to take the initiative. So they did the right thing trying to fight you because you're going to kill them anyway. Oh man, I was really worried it would do this. So now I've got to basically wait, like he says, wait, build up an army and then come back. I basically complete the level, I've just got to gather more forces and then I can do this. I can't imagine that nine titans is going to be enough. Just finished watching the lobster video. I'll say it made me laugh hard. Oh, I'm glad. It's luminous. Glad you had a good time with it. That's grubby. Pillaging the uh, ballista. I'm glad they're going back to base. Can't even kill those bloody rocks. Should have just attacked into the goblins first. I was hoping the wolves would attack and then I get a free shot. I mean, give him credit, he's done well. But I'm not going to be able to win, because there's still 39 Cyclopses. Which is just ridiculous. Okay, let's come out of that then. Fine. So this is doing the Heroes of Might Magic 2 thing where you have to sort of like wait until you've got a big enough army. Fine, fine. Let's bring Titans.
County. Right. <laughs> I'll just dismiss them now. Don't need them anymore. And it doesn't carry for the other heroes as far as I know. Let's travel. I mean, I can water walk, that's true, but I have the boats in the way. So I have to do that. What's the good tactic you would recommend fighting a lobster meal? Have someone else break it up for you and do all the hard work. It was still difficult, even with like half of it, it cut in half. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Yay!